Okay, baby. Come on. Okay, you got it. You got to get it. Come on. Okay. Coming. My audio visual man's got it all set up. Okay. Okay. Right. Mancy, and uh, we need you right now in Studio uh, Four, please. Kate Mancy, this, Nurse okay, Station. So okay. Well, we are at Days of Our Lives in Stephen's dressing room, and um, I've been trying to get him to talk to me for a video blog for probably about thirteen or fourteen weeks, whenever he first came back. So here we are today. We get all comfortable, even though you know I'm fine with legs up. And um, so, Stephen. Yeah. Let me first <laughs> say, and I think you agree with me. We're having the very best time, aren't we? Yeah, probably the best time ever. I think so, too. Right you know, careful, might be attached. Um, but no, we're having the, the best time, and I honestly feel like we are so lucky in Day's 50th year to have this opportunity to be back together because it's just yeah. great. And they're writing us as the people we are today and not trying to necessarily recapture or re you know tell the same story of what we did a long time ago. And it's just been a blessing and fabulous and we've yeah. had such a good time together. It's been great and uh, and I have to say it's because Mary Beth is such a great actress. Oh yeah. <laughs> she gives me so much. Well did I'm in scenes with back. other people I notice right away. Not that they're not good actors, but Mary Beth and I just have something special we and do. it really pays off when we connect with each other. Yeah. And right. And I but we also and I think we both have said this in every interview we've ever done, but we have such a nice connection and we trust each other and we'll be running lines and I mean one thing that's so funny is um, he'll go Take that <laughs> one thing he'll go he'll he'll I'll be saying some dialogue that I think I've remembered, you know, and he'll be like, No, that that's yeah, not yeah. good English that's not proper English or right, something, right, you know. Right. And he, he's always kinda of corrected. And but we but we don't I don't take offense. I'm always thankful actually because he makes me look better, but but we trust each other and we um, and we don't take offense when somebody said, "Hey, if you if you did it like that, I might get this from that." And um, so, in a way, we're sort of each other's sort of director, acting coach on the side, to say that I would feel this if you did that or whatever. So, I mean, but um, what are you looking? At? It's like you're looking through the window. Wow. I'm actually looking to see. I think I might have put a little too too much headroom in, but that's the we director. We could sit. We could sit taller. We could sit taller. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Um, I read a lot of your questions that you sent, and I'm going to see if I can remember any, and then if not, I'm going to have to like pull them up, but, um, what about, you know what, one thing I don't think I've ever really known is when you first auditioned for this show. I mean, I, we always have talked about my audition, how I said, oh, that was crap, and mm -hmm. I don't think I was going to get it, and I remember the dress I wore, it was like, I think I got it from when I did the show Rituals, it was a pink, silky dress with a giant sort of sailor pinafore front with lace. <laughs> oh, I loved it, it was so like my very favorite best. dress. But, um, and I, I remember being in the, uh, how Al Rabin, the executive producer's office, when you came in to read with me, mm -hmm. and he had the patch up here and that fake scar that used Al to be had there. A patch? No, you. And a leather jacket, and I was, you know, I hadn't really seen the show, and I was like, wow, what's, what's, what's this guy? What's this all about? But, um. I was very serious back then. He was very serious, but I, but we had a connection from the very beginning, don't you think? Yeah. Absolutely. But what about your, um. What about when you first came here? I have no well, I, I had there was no audition because Doris Saba, the casting director at the time, just called me out. And she well, said, how did she know you? Had you been in? Or? I had been in a bunch of theater that she'd seen in oh. L.A. and I and she cast me in oh. a couple other like guest starring roles on prime time shows. Oh really? Yeah, little things, but you know she I played a bad guy a lot, and she said, "Hey, this guy he wears a patch and he carries a knife and he's a bad guy and go to work, you're gonna love it." Mm -hmm. and that's all she knew, and that's all she told me, and I came in, and, you know, they developed the character, you know, after right. time, they decided, yeah, we're going to keep right. you. And I know, I know, just from what I've witnessed, that so much of what you have brought to the show has become part of the character, like, your, the harmonica playing, and the sweetness, and all your nicknames for everybody, and uh, even somebody said to me the other day, a director has come on board here who was a general hospital director, and he said to us, just both of us, the because I never saw you guys together as these, as these characters. And I can see why they were so popular and why the General Hospital thing was different. And it's because, I mean, I personally think a big part of it is that the Patch character, the, pa the character that you've created, is so much of you, too, is all, what you are. But he's, he's sensitive, he's funny, he's got a tough exterior and a mushy inside, and he's all these <laughs> things. But, but, but really, a lot of the humor... It's such a great thing about this character, yeah. and your, um, 
you know, obviously the, the harmonica and all these different things, but um, I think he's a very unique character, you know? For sure. Yeah, definitely unique. I think that's probably one of the reasons it took off the way it did. I mean, I always thank God that I had the patch. Mm -hmm. I mean, where? how often do you see a guy with, a, Not with so one much. eye, with a patch yeah, on his eye? And, you know, and... I tried to help you out that one time, you know, doing the surgery in the living room and all that. But, right, right. Yeah, but thank God that didn't work out. Well. Yeah, because you're better with the patch. No, it was kind of a blessing that uh, came in as a recurring character, and they didn't have a very specific uh, idea of who this guy was, mm -hmm. so that I could, you know, bring some something to it. And at the time, we had a great collaboration because we had producers and people who wanted to actually collaborate and do right. that, right. and they were they were open to it. Right. So, yeah, Shelly Curtis, who was awesome. That's one of the reasons it, mm -hmm. it, it worked, is mm -hmm. that we really had, it was just a magical time in terms of everybody who was working here at the time, and uh, the spirit of the show, and the fact that we had so much time and right. money. And it's so much time. But the thing that's so great about us uh, is... Stephen and James should be out here right now. Stephen and uh, James. Oh, we'll have to come back in a second. Mm -hmm. we'll call to we have the a set. little blocking thing. Okay, we'll be right back. You better turn it off. I don't think I can tap dance while you're gone. We're just like now arguing about what we should talk about. Okay, so come back, Stephen. Let's ask some more questions. So, how do you feel? <laughs> I can get. I got I can't sit next to somebody and have the, my leg over. To get the leg over. Yeah. Okay, I have a question for you then. How do you feel that this time is different than other times that we've been back together? Well, yeah, I think I had to consider what these two people are like as they're growing and maturing and getting a little bit. Not old but older <laughs> and I mean we've carried this the essence of these characters from the very beginning all the way through every time that we've Please come on in come please, please Lynn, stage show, four. I mean last time I don't know if anything changed much except that maybe our appearance a little bit we were sort of the same they were writing the same mm -hmm. two people mm -hmm. and I think they, they're making more of an effort now to see what these people are like when they're at this stage in their lives, mm -hmm. and they they have kids, grown kids. Well, we had Stephanie before. She, we had Stephanie, but she's, but, she's away now. But, um, she's, she's out of the house. But um, Joey went to bed at six, and I said, you know, like, and maybe. I don't know if you're we'll allowed to say that just now. He went to bed are at you? six. Oh, I think no, you are. They they, they say they, they cast. Anyway, Everybody he went to bed at six, it. and he woke up yeah. at sixteen. So that actually has been really interesting for us, and for and for the two of us too, because we do have older kids. So you know what's really cool, and I have said this before, but we to be in a show like this. Uh, 28 years, 30 years, whatever it is, 29 years. 30, I celebrated 30 years. Yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. And one of the reasons, I forgot to say, one of the reasons Not that we are, years. one of the reasons I really made sure we did this interview this week is because it's our 27th wedding anniversary this week. Right. So cute. Which I did not know. But yeah, I didn't we know either, reminded. but fans told us, so that Someone was good. Someone reminded us. Thank God for you guys. But, um, uh, anyway, so it sort of mirrors our own life because we have older kids and we have matured as parents and... And, and as uh, people in relationships, and, and so we kind of know that. Well, we've known each other's children since they were born. Yeah, and now he's a grandpa, and he's got these really, yeah. really cute kids. But um, I'm so enjoying this. And I, it's so funny, I look, when somebody asked if we look back at the old um, stuff that we did, and when we first came back the last time, after being gone for 15 years, we did look at some of it, and I didn't really want to because I thought, oh, we've aged so much, it's so crazy, 15 years ago. I, and it was really, it was great, and it was sweet, and we, I could really see how these characters um, connected. Uh, but or how I, the actors connected. Yeah, but I like who we are now better, actually. I think the stories that we're telling now have been so great. It's been so exciting. Yeah. And I leave here just like, I'm just like the luckiest person in the world that we yeah, get to work together. Some, we've had some very good stuff. And very really good. good. Work, uh, this time around. And yeah, we have to give credit to Josh Griffith oh, he's amazing. and Dina. Dina Hickley, who mm -hmm. is amazing, she and she she was here when, on the last wave mm -hmm. too. But also, um, what's changed is uh, Albert Alar, a producer who was who has been here and knew the show. He's now the executive producer, and he is on the floor, and we do it. And he comes over and gives gives us notes, and it's now become this really collaborative, cool thing. And and he's our age, and he is really into this sort of mature love thing too, and. And being true to that, and it's—I think it's just—it's an really actor-friendly set, more more so than I think it, 
more so than it has been since the 80s. Yeah. It's a really actor-friendly set. He's right. really engaged with the actors, and he mm -hmm. reads the scripts. Mm -hmm. He knows everything about the stories and the upcoming story mm -hmm. and the characters. Right. And he's done his homework. And whenever we run into the writer, he'll say, oh, wait till you see what's next. And So it's an exciting mm -hmm. time for us. I think it's really fun. and um, I, So every time I come, I'm excited to see what the next... Um, group of scripts, uh, you know, I have in there for us. It's yeah, they're really, they've pulled out all the stops for this 50th anniversary and with the intention of continuing beyond that, but mm -hmm. the 50th kind of energized everything around here, right. and that's how this all happened. Right. With, they're bringing me back. and right. I think when he first came back, too, we did so many flashbacks of stuff of ours, which was I think for the viewers it's going to be great. And I actually want to really tune in they too to see They did that the last them. time around. Too. Did they? They did. Yeah, it was, there were a lot of flashbacks. In fact, more I think the last time. But what kind of show? Within Sixteen years. What kind of show can you be on that they would actually even have that? You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah, the, yeah. there's so much history here, and that they have yeah. all that footage. Yeah, that's a lot of footage. So an hour a crazy. day. An hour a day for how many years? I know. Yeah. It's wild. So what, what were some of those other questions that were more unique and some mm. questions we had not heard before, you know? Oh, my gosh. I don't my, know what my, happened. My, with, oh my I had a little list. And you I don't had know, a I list. I it. Oh, okay. A lot of people have criticized the super couple formula, but 30 years later, those couples are still popular. Do you think it is a blessing or a curse? Do you think that formula would work today? Well, it's a blessing or a curse depending upon who the two actors are. Yeah. Because I mean, I don't think it's ever been something that held me back no. to getting episodic uh, other shows. Or Blessing, is that what they're talking about, getting other I work? I think maybe, or does it pigeonhole you? I, and, I, you know, I have to say, when I first... It's a blessing when you, you know... When it works. Yeah, when it works. <laughs> and, and, and if you're lucky to like the person you work with. Let's see. I was going to get any... Okay, you guys seem to get along so well, but I was wondering... Uh, if you ever have had any big fights or disagreements, maybe once or twice, but we made up. Well, yeah. Yeah, but we made up. Um, and if, how, if we hadn't, we wouldn't really be friends. No. Right? Because we really, that, I that think happens. part of why we, uh, the characters connect is because we connect. I mean, of course. Yeah, we tell the truth. Uh, yeah, we tell the truth. Okay, do you, um, do you, how do the two of you prepare for scenes together? Do you have a routine or rehearsal rituals? Well, if we have the time, I mean, first of all, we always make sure what our intentions are in the scene, and we run the lines like right. crazy. But we run them like crazy. Not for lines, but for, for just Rhythms. finding what the scene yeah. is. And, what and, is the scene? And even today, I will say today, I had these, we were running them, we ran them, okay, it's in my head, I'm running it. And then we get out there to shoot it, and it's still that, it's a little cobwebby. And then when they say roll them, I always have this thought in my head like, okay, let all that go now. It's either time to play, or like this today, it was like, slow it down. Like, just slow it down and listen to what he's saying and listen. Mm. And they ended up being really good scenes, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were, but it was really because all that madness, and at that moment, I just thought, I have to slow it down now. You have to do that. Yeah. And it's the hardest thing to do, because the, the environment here is hurry up. Hurry up. And, and, yeah. and a lot of the time, especially depending on the hour, if it's close to lunchtime or something, they are pressing. And, and if you're at the end it. of the day, and they're behind, because they, you know, it's a tight, yeah. tight schedule. So, um, at the end of the day, they'll they'll say over the loudspeaker, uh, "Be prepared to go directly to tape." Okay, let me see. Describe each other, your on-screen or off-screen relationship, in one word. Sweet. <laughs> That's what I'll say about you. Sweet. He's sweet. Just uh, blissful. One word. Blissful. Okay, blissful. He, you guys should see him with his, his grandkids. <laughs> Forget it. It's so cute. And even, you know, when my kids were born, like my son, when he was born, Stephen had, like, maybe a cold or something when he came. And he, and he came to my house, and he had a doctor mask that he put out, and he sat on the floor of my TV den room, you know, holding this little baby and just rocking this baby and talking to this baby with this thing. It was so cute. I have never, ever forgotten it. Okay. Uh, let me see now. Um, let me go to the next page of highlights. Oh, oh. Mm. Do either of you have any memories of working with Richard Biggs or Joy Garrett that you can share with us? Well, we had this joke with Richard Biggs because when we did that Preacher South story or whatever, he had some speech where he was going to remember something about when he was a kid. He goes, 
I had a dog or something. Remember that? <laughs> and we, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what it was, but we used to harass him. And whenever we'd see him, we'd be like, I had a dog. First thing I remember about him is he said to me, after he got the job, he, he looked at me and goes, man, I, I got to tell you, man, I really needed this, this gig. You know, and there are very few like actors who... Like all of who, us do. Like, very few actors who would actually admit that. You know, people would come in and they, they wouldn't be really... Have, a, have as much humility as that. Yeah. And he always had that. And I love that about him. And it made it so easy to work with him because he was so humble and... Sweet guy. You know, yeah, he was great. Good guy. What about Joey? I, you worked with her much more than I did. Joy, uh, gosh, what a, you know, what a professional she was. And, and she was another actor I loved working with because she was always so connected. She was just right there, right there and ready. And she always knew her lines and... Mm -hmm. You know, she she had a kind of a rough go, a rough kind of life on the outside of this this mm -hmm. thing here, and, and she didn't bring it to work with her. She just came prepared and did the job. And That's right. We need to get the rest great. of we need to get the Johnson yeah. clan back. We need to get Matt Ashford back, and we need to get um, Judy Evans working all the time and get some of this yeah. family stuff going. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. It, okay. Good. All right. Let me get to click for some more questions in a minute. Mm. Do you get to discuss how you're approaching a scene? what you feel the character's motivations are, or is that already dictated, explained ahead of time? It's not dictated. By the writer, script, or director. Oftentimes it's not in the script. Right. I think you really, you bring what you bring. And you, you have and to if you can it pull it off, for the most much. part, you're good. You yeah. have to figure it out, because it's, it, the writing sometimes, I mean, the stories are really great, but in the scripts, they have to write them so fast, it's not all that deep. So it doesn't really take you to those places you need to go. You have to really find that for yourself. I was going to look up that one other thing. A newlywed, is it? Oh, no newlywed game for you? Mm. Well, you well, could say something, because, I mean, we probably do know enough about each other. That I don't think I, don't think I actually do. Game. Okay. Uh, it looks like, okay, what's like, your favorite color? It looks like a, a what you, what's, your, what's your favorite color? I have no idea what your favorite color is. You don't? Black. Why are you asking me <laughs> Black. That? You're supposed to know. No, I don't. I don't really know. Green. Cobalt blue. Oh. Am I supposed to know what your favorite color yeah, is? Yeah, I was trying to think what my favorite color is. Because you know. don't know. I don't think I. You, you I'm kind like of into. I'm colors. into gray right now. Like I like gray. Right now you are. I like gray, but, but that's, you, you change. Oh, I change the time. time. Okay. Okay. What do you? One what, more try, Taylor. Okay. Your studio my daughter always says this is a good way you could tell somebody's personality. Do you think I'm a chocolate or a vanilla ice cream person? Vanilla. No! Really? Because I'm a chocolate. I thought you'd be the opposite. No, no, I'm total chocolate. I'm so chocolate. Well, In fact, I like Rocky Road. I like nuts and marshmallows. Well, I, I, I failed that one miserably. What would you have I would have thought you were me? vanilla. No, totally not. Totally. <laughs> I cannot. Well, no, I'm, I'm chocolate number one. Vanilla, if it's a really good vanilla bean, but it has to have chocolate something on it, like oh. vanilla Swiss almond with a chocolate. Oh, okay, egg. all right. Um, all right, we failed at that okay. one miserably. Okay, okay. What I know you're a super healthy eater. What's your favorite vegetable? Why are you asking me? You have to asparagus. Guess. No, <laughs> broccoli. No. One of them. I don't like broccoli. Green beans, really good. For I. You know how I do beans. green beans now? <laughs> no, seriously. This is the best way to do green beans. I used to always steam them. I always steam them. My right. mother, my mother cooked them blanch, with. Blanch my mom cooked first. them with like salt pork and like killed them. They were like gray. They were horrible. Yeah. And stringy and gross. I know. And so I always just steamed them. But now I blanch. Blanch. Yeah. It is so much better. Boiling water for three minutes and then like ice water and they're crispy and good. That's my new favorite way. I actually like them a lot better now. So wait, tell me the bla blanching technique. Boil. Boil water and then throw your green beans in there for like three, three minutes. minutes. Take them out and throw them in ice water. In ice it stops water. the cooking. And then they're cooked, but they're crunchy. They're Crisp, yeah, really crispy. delicious. Yeah. But they have to be good beans, not stringy. Oh no, really, fresh really snapped. Good. snapped. You know, when I was a kid, you know, my grandma, my grandma's from the south, and we had a total like, you know, you'd sit around the bowl, you know, with the and we'd like come over here and help me snap yeah, beans, kind of thing, you know. Beans, yeah. 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 So he's a big, a big woodworker. I know you built your deck. You built benches. Now you just put in a, a decomposed granite pathway and a bench at the end. I think. Do you? Um, do you get great fulfillment out of this? Do Absolutely. you plan it all out, or do you get kits, or what do you do? No kits. No I just kits. I go. I'm pretty much jazzed with the whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing, and you have like a table saw. I'll measure you have stuff. All the, you have I've all got the, all the tools. Yeah. Um, and I I really just play it by ear. I, I built a treehouse for my daughter that's up there that was total jazz. It was like 
okay, where do I put this first support? I put that up. I had my son help me put the supports. And I just went around and just formed it around the tree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's how I do it because I'm not a math person. In ter I mean, I obviously have to measure, but in terms of figuring all that out, like an architect or a designer, I could never, ever. Yeah, no. It. My brain does not work total like that. improv. Right? I don't work in numbers. Yeah. And measuring. Yeah, yeah. When I was, when I got my first couple of houses, it would just be this like a pedestal sink or some funky sink just attached to the wall with no cabinet. So I'd always, I would always think I need to make a skirt because that was very big back in the 80s. I was making a skirt <laughs> or, 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 or curtains. It was all Laura Ashley, totally. And um, I would measure to have the casing and then it'd be like a little ruffle on top. And every single time a curtain or the skirt for the sink, the bar had to go into the ruffle because I had mismeasured. Look out, it's really steep. <laughs> I, had, I had mismeasured. And so it was supposed to be like this with the ruffle on top, but since I mismeasured, the bar had to go into the ruffle, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Anyway, on that note, um, See, I think we got some good stuff. We, should do. we love each other, and we're excited to be here. And come out to the Days Day in November, I think, you guys. I think it's the first, uh, like the 6th or 7th of November. Yeah, and I'll be in Long Beach um, doing something on July 31st, so check your listings. Long Beach. Mm. I won't you be. couldn't make it, right? I couldn't. No, I but I'm going to be in Napa, actually. I'm going to be in Napa wine tasting. Ah. Ooh, careful. But I know. I like my wine. Anyway, um, thanks, you guys, for checking in the blog. And um, I might have to do a field trip out to his house someday and see all his little projects. That would be fun. We'll really. do that. It'd yeah. be fun. See the garden in the front yard. Yeah, saving see, water. Yeah, right? yeah. Saving water. Saving water. All yeah. right. Thanks. Adios.